Hi everyone, back again for another video for you all. It is Wednesday the 25th of January and we're about to start a new project on a school up in Droitwich for a local firm called Shipley Group. And here is what we have. So we've got two course of six inch blocks on the interior skin, one course of four inch concrete blocks on the exterior and then three course of the good old engineering bricks. So yeah, blades are there behind me, just getting the footing swept out, getting it all loaded, we'll get all our lines round, date and mark set, and then we'll start building. So yeah, gonna video this up to damp, and then we'll be back next week then to start the actual build. I think the final height's 2.4, so it's not exactly monstrous. Um, but yeah, no still a job to video for YouTube. So Blade's already put the lays around to check the data marks. It's a bit of a basic findings. drawing, but as I say, look, I know that's level. That's my point that I've took off. That's level. That's got to go down 8 mil. That's got to come up 20 mil. And that's got to get up 8 mil. And now that relates to each corner on the job. So I know now when I build my corners, I've got to pick up or screw down. Yeah, so basically the concrete's not exactly bang on. It's not too far off. It's that's not massively out but we put the lays around to be able to see exactly because we've got 450 to dpc but in some corners we'll probably have 470 etc so we'll have to pick up the gauge with the brickwork and the block work to hit the correct heights Start getting a bit older, Eddie. You start, start to feel it a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happens when you've done over 16 years in the game. How long have you been here? I was well, starting around 16, 34, actually. 18 years. 18 years. 18 years, quick man. Um, I was probably about six months old when I started. Flying <laughs> <laughs> bricks in your daddy's sack. <laughs>
Points, points. So this is very typical in the life in this game of Brit Lane. We've had a slow morning here, getting set up, waiting for the mixes to be delivered, etc. And as soon as we get the mixes on and cracking on, it um the ovens open up so it's been a very slow morning very costly morning as well all right yeah <laughs> not there in it is an absolute nightmare to work with.
Right, so end of day one. And uh, old Blade here is going to give you the review. the review. How was it? Google How was it? How was your Google review? I've, I've, I've loved every minute of it. <laughs> nah, it's, it's just been a tough one. It's one of them. The mixer broke. None of the pins have worked. Yeah. Then we With a late start. Fuel. We yeah, got here. There was st start, still grubbing out. Turn up on time. The sand's been absolutely terrible. But we've still got something done. So not as much as we'd like to have done. But we sold we it. Persevered. We persevered. The bulk of the building. Just got to set out the brickwork now, and then the front, and that's it. Yeah. So yeah. Not a total washout. Oh, Ryan. That was another. Yeah, Ryan as well. So yeah, it was a bit of a tough first day. Had to wait for the gear to come over. But we got some corners up ready to run in. Got this flank ready to run in tomorrow. We've got Joe from Brick Jackets coming down tomorrow as well, so we've got this section to run through, little section around there, and we'll get a corner up down the bottom end so we can run that through. So we shouldn't be far off tomorrow, to be fair. We have to leave the front down. Wait, where you can see there's a bit of a ramp coming in um, for them to gain access in, because we've still got some more grubbing out to do. So yeah, end of day one.
All right, so end of day two now. Massive thanks to that guy there, Joe from Bit Jackets. Come down for the day. <laughs> Cheers, Joe. No worries. Thanks, so, as you can see now, the splash is round the hole outside. Bar the centre there because they need to get in there to do some more grubbing out still and to do the stone, etc., for the floor builder. But yeah, so, damps all round. Wait for another linter to come for that in the morning. Got some wind posts going in here as well. That's why the pocket's been left out. <coughs> yeah. I mean, a nice build this one is, I'm looking forward to it. So tomorrow, I'm gonna finish it off. So I'm gonna turn the walls across here. So I'm gonna come out here, get the lads set up and that, leave them to it. And I'll go and see the other lads in on the houses. So there'll be some clips coming up. With how they're getting on that salt over there. So, happy days. another video there for you all hope you all enjoyed what you watched if anyone's got any ideas of anything i can do going forward to improve these videos as well i'd be massively appreciative of your input so please drop something into the comments below and um, there wasn't much talk around this video to be perfectly honest with you we had a bit of a slow start we was getting loaded out getting the line set out the mixing didn't come on time so we was doing everything basically which we could do until we got the mortar there to start laying but i was quite pleased with how it went by the end of the first day, we got most of the perimeter around with the block work. Got the corners up for the damp as well a lot. So then obviously the following day, then all we had to do was just running all day. And we done well. We had Joe from Brick Jackets up as well. So go over and have a look at him. Uh, Brick layers out there. Look, his product is really is good, honestly. You know, I don't know if you all had the same experience this winter of what we have, but everything's been ringing wet lot, you know. But with the Brick Jackets, the help stop that basically so go over onto his website and have a look and get yourself some order but yeah so a bit of a difficult job really to be fair it wasn't difficult in the sense of the actual job but just a bit of a slow morning on it but it all went well by the end but i wasn't there on friday i went out to have a site and i'd done a site visit there and then i went down to an extension which we've got on the go and solid all i will put some clips up of that on youtube but it's 90 percent complete now which is a double story wraparound extension but once it's done and the scaffolds drop, I'll get some shots up on here. But there is loads of clips of that job over on my Instagram if you want to go over to there and have a look as well. Like, you know. But yeah, thank you all for watching again. And if you could all please just like, subscribe and share the page, I'll be massively appreciative of that as well. So yeah, I'll catch you all soon.
Everything will be all.